सो हाय स्टूडेंट्स सो आई एम कृष्णा जोलॉजी सो टुडे माय टॉपिक इज ह्यूमन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो नाउ सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ह्यूमन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो वी लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स एंड आल्सो फंक्शन एंड आल्सो लोकेशन so first so we discuss about the so female reproductive system so the female reproductive system consists of several parts so which is a pair of ovaries along with a pair of ovipares and the uterus and vagina and also external genitalia so which organs are located in the pelvic region of human so pelvic region means so below the abdominal cavity so first so along with these parts and uh, these parts along with the uh, a pair mammary gland also presents so which is integrated to support the support the ovulation fertilization and also pregnancy and also child care so this is about the female reproductive organs so now first ovaries so in the female reproductive system a pair of ovaries are present so which is so one on each side location is one on each side of lower abdominal cavity and also one on each side of the uterus so these ovaries are connecting to the abdominal cavity by two two peritoneal membranes so this membrane is called as meso ovarium meso ovarium so this is two folds of peritoneal membrane that is connect ovaries to abdominal cavity so if absent the meso ovarium so what happening so these are fall down into the abdominal cavity so this is about the meso ovarium so it is called the ovaries to abdominal wall so this is about meso ovarium so next the ovaries is so for example this is ovary so the ovary externally enveloped by two layers so this is the two layers the outer layer is called germinal epithelium germinal epithelium and the uh, inner layer is called tunica albuginea tunica albuginea so the outer layer germinal epithelium inner layer is tunica albuginea so this two layers so the two layers enveloping the ovary so the inside of these two layers the ovary is called this structure is called is stroma so stroma so stroma so the stroma of ovary so it is dividing the two regions two regions so the outer region is called cortex so inner region is called medulla medulla so the cortex looks dense and granular so because various stages ovarian follicle so ovaries are present and uh, different granules are present and it is look like dense and granular so the medulla is loose connective tissue so because of lymphatic vessels and blood vessels and the nerves are also present and it looks like loose so the cortex is looks dense so this is about the structure of ovaries so the ovary functions so particularly so the ovaries are responsible for the so ovulation production of female gametes and also production of the so ovarian 
hormones steroidal hormones so this is the location and also structure and also function of ovaries so after that next ovidites so the female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovidites so it is look like a long tube like structure so it is extending from the periphery of the ovary and enter to the so uterus so these ovidites connecting to abdominal abdominal wall by a peritoneal membrane peritoneal membrane is called mesosalpings mesosalpings so this is the peritoneal membrane so this is connecting ovidic to the abdominal wall so if uh, absence of the mesosalpings what are when so the ovidics are so falling to so ovidics bend bending so yes it is holding the same position of ovidics so that is the help of mesosalpics so next these ovidics divide into the three regions so the posterior region is called infundibulum so it is look like funnel shape so it is look like funnel shape structure so the posterior side the edges of infundibulum so here finger like projections are present so these finger like projections are called fimbriae so the fimbriae function is so fimbriae function is collection the ovum after ovulation so the ovary function is it is releasing ovum when releasing the ovum the fimbriae are collecting and holding and transfer to next spots so this is about the infundibulum so next this infundibulum so it is leads to wider part of what is called is ampulla so the ampulla leads into the a narrow part narrow tube like structure is called isthmus the isthmus is leads into the uterus so the ovidics function is so this is about the fertilization site so the fertilization takes place is isthmus ampullary junction so this is the fertilization place so this is about the ovidics so the ovidics are conduct to the so ovum or zygote so towards the towards the uterus by peristaltic movements so if fertilizing ovum called as zygote or not fertilizing ovum so these are conducting to towards uterus so by the peristaltic movements of the ovidics so this is about the ovidics so next part is called uterus so this is uterus so this is muscular tube so this is single in number and muscular tube highly muscular tube so it is structure is inverted pear shaped structure inverted pear shaped structure so this is present location is present between the urinary bladder and the rectum so this is about the uterus so the uterus also called is womb so this is a uterine cavity so the upper part of uterus is called is fundus so the uterus is so the posterior side is narrow and is open into the vagina so the uterus also connect to the abdominal wall by peritoneal membrane so this is called is mesometrium mesometrium so remember that so the connecting of ovary to the abdominal wall is called is mesoovarium so the ovidic connected to abdominal wall is peritoneal membrane is called is mesosalpings and the uterus also connecting to abdominal wall by the mesometrium so the ovary is sorry the womb so the uterus is so it is formed by the three layers of muscles 
so the outer thin layer is called is perimetrium so the middle so thick muscular wall is called is myometrium also called as mesometrium so the internal so internal so glandular layer is called is endometrium so during the the endometrium is undergoes many cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle period so the myometrium also do many contractions so during the patch vision patch vision means during the delivery so the myometrium so do strong contractions so it will so play the so the fetus so the embryo is so the baby is pushed to outside of the body so that is do strong contraction by the myometrium so this is about the uterus so next so the uterus is joined to the posterior side joined to the vagina through the so uterus cervix so the uterus cervix and vagina so it is formed the birth canal so this is about the uterus next one vagina so next one vagina so the vagina structure is so this is large tube like structure this is the large tube like structure this is extending from the cervix so extending from the cervix to the vestibule so the vestibule means so the junction of labio minora labio minora so the vagina inner side so it is inner side extending by non keratinized simple squamous epithelial tissue non keratinized simple squamous epithelium tissue and it is the highly vascular so inner side extending the many blood vessels and uh, so non keratinized squamous epithelium is present so it is open so in the vestibule through the vaginal orifice so this is about the vagina next one next what is vulva so vulva and also called external genitalia and also called is pudendum so the external genitalia of female is so the vestibule of female having the two apartments two apartments so these two apartments is so two apartments the anterior apartment is called is urethral orifice urethral orifice so and the posterior apartment is called is vaginal orifice vaginal orifice so this is two apartment so between two this region is called is vestibule so the vagina is extended from the cervix and also open to extending to the vestibule so vestibule means so this region is called as vestibule so the vestibule having the two holes or two apartments so the upper anterior is called urethral orifice posterior is called vaginal orifice so these two orifices so it is bonded by two fleshy fold tissues two fleshy fold so these two fleshy folds is called so the internal small fleshy folds is called small fleshy fold is called labio minora so the large outer fleshy folds is called is labio mesora labio mesora so the junction of upper part of labio minora so here so a structure is present this is called is clitoris so this is called clitoris so this is homologous similar resembled to the male penis 
so this is also sense to erectile structure so when so the sexual intercourse so this is also so erecting so it is same this is also so it is internally connected by so uh, carpora cavernosa tissue carpora cavernosa tissue so this is about the clitoris 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 so next so the above the labio majora so here a cushion like fatty tissue is present this is called mans pubis mans pubis so this tissue so fat so it is covered by skin so the skin also possesses the many hairs so this is called fabric hairs so this is about the external genitalia of the female so next accessory glands so the female reproductive system consists three pairs of accessory glands so first of bartholin glands bartholin gland and also skin gland and also mammary gland mammary gland so three pairs of glands is present so which is associated to female reproductive system so first one bartholin gland a pair bartholin gland is present so it is posterior side of one and each side right and left so it is posterior side of opening of the vagina so these secretions are involved in the lubrication of the vagina during the so copulation so this is about the bartholin gland so next one skin gland a pair skin gland also present so this is present uh, below the urethral orifices and so above the vaginal orifices so it is present one and each side left and right of uh, opening of the vagina so this glands also releasing secretions is involved in the lubrication of the vagina so this is about the bartholin gland and skin gland